Welcome to Perfect Guardian and I'll tell you about Sri Chakra Puja or Sri Yantra Puja. So we'll start from Om Aim Hrim Shrim Sri Lalita Tripur Sundari Padukam Pujyanami Nama. Chakra Puja or Yantra Puja is a worship of a deity in a diagrammatic form. This type of worship exists in a lot of other parts of the world also. The worship of Devi in Sri Chakra is regarded as the highest form of Devi worship. Originally, Lord Shiva gave 64 chakras and the mantras to the world to attain various spiritual and material benefits. For his consort Devi, he gave the Sri Chakra and highly converted or coveted and the most powerful Shodh Shakshri Mantra, which is equivalent of all the other 64 put together. It is said that in the beginning God, who was one, wanted to become many and enjoy himself. As the first step to creation, he created Devi, a total cosmic female force. For the male part, out of his left he created Shiva. Out of his middle he created Brahma and out of his right he created Vishnu. That is why many regard the Devi as more powerful than the Trinities and hence she is called Parashakti or Paradevi. Para meaning beyond. Brahma created the universe. Vishnu controls and runs the universe. Shiva along with Shakti is engaged in eternal dissolution and recreation of the universe. The Bindu in the center of Sri Chakra is a symbolic representation of the cosmic spiritual union of Shiva and Shakti. Apart from that, the Sri Chakra also embodies countless number of deities and represents the whole of creation. Hence, by worshipping the Devi in Sri Chakra, one is actually worshipping the highest ultimate force in the Tantric form. The Shodasi Vidya is one of the most guarded secrets of the Tantra. Usually the Guru gives it to a highly deserving and tested disciple. Very few get it. Even in the Mantra Sastra, where all other tantras are openly and clearly given, the Shodasi Vidya is not directly given. Several hints about the mantra are given and you are asked to get the mantra if you are capable and deserving. The opening verses of the Mantra Sastra chapter on Sri Chakra says, Your head can be given, your soul can be given, but the Shodasi Vidya of Devi cannot be given. However, Sri Chakra can also be worshipped by other Devi Mantras. There are several traditions of the worshipping the Sri Chakra. I will give you a very simple and still very effective puja of Sri Chakra. It is known as the Sri Chakra Navavarna Puja as per the Khadgamala Vidhi. For all spiritual and material benefits, it is highly effective puja. Anyone can perform it. You can do you cannot do a detailed worship. Simply worship the Sri Yantra 108 times with a simple Devi Mantra. Om Aim Vrim Shim Sri Lalita Tripur Sundari Padukam Pujyana Pujyami Nama. Or still with the Pandakshrimari Mantra, Pancha Achhri Mantra, also known as Panchadasi Mantra, which is one of the greatest mantra of Devi annexed only to the Shodasi Mantra. E ka il lehi has kahari him shaklam him ka il rim has kahal rim sakal him. This Panchadasi mantra forms part of the great Sudasi mantra. You can learn more detail about the Panchadasi and Sudasi mantras and what the Bija mantra signify and how to do Japa of Sudasi Mantra. The basic of Sri Yantra is that before starting the worship it is advisable to know about the way the Sri Yantra is constructed. What all it represents about the no avarnas, the deities, their gunas and the significance so that your worship is more meaningful. I will tell you about the authentic details as given in the Vedas Tantra and Mantra scriptures. 
Five downward pointing triangles representing Devi intersect with four upward pointing triangles representing Shiva, forming 43 triangles including the central triangle. From the five Shakti triangles comes creations and from the four Shiva triangles comes the dissolution. The union of five Shaktis and four fires causes the chakra of creation to evolve. At the center of the bindu of the Sri Yantra is Kamakala, which has three bindus. One is red, one is white and one is mixed. The red bindu is Kurukula, the female form. The white bindu is Varahi, the male form. And the mixed bindu is the union of Shiva and Shakti. The individual has the potential Sri Chakra. Varahi, the father form, gives four Dhatus to the child and Kurukula, the mother form, gives five dhatus to the child. These represents the nine dhatus of the human body. Varahi's four fires are the twelve, four multiplied by three, sun colors, the twelve zodiac constellations. Kurukula's five triangles are the fifteen, five into three, colors of the moon and fifteen runar tithis. These nine triangles also represent the nine stages of growth of the human child in the womb. Surrounding the 43 triangles formed by the intersection of the nine triangles is the 16 petal circle. Surrounding the 16 petal circle is an 8 petal circle. After that, three lines at, and at the outermost part of the Sri Yantra, there are three lines called the Bhupura. The 43 triangles constitute the six inner intersections called Avarnas. The two circles of petals are two more Avarnas and the Bhupura of three line is the last Avarna. These nine Avarna of the Sri Yantra have various presiding Devis. They are the Devis of Parivar of the total 108. In the Sri Chakra Puja, they are systematically worshipped one by one with the names and mantras. The presiding deity of Sri Chakra Devi is known as Lalita Tripura Sundari. The form of Devi Kamakshi of Kanchipuram is the closest resemblance of the Devi as described in the scriptures. Lalita means the one who plays. All creation, manifestations and dissolution is considered to be a play of Devi. Tripura means the three worlds and Asundari means beauty. She is the transcendent beauty of the three worlds. Tripura also signifies that she is the ruler of the three gunas of Sattva, Rajas and Tamas and sun, moon and fire, the zodiac and the planets and therefore the time itself. She is also Tripura as will, iksha, knowledge, jnana and the action Kriya. She is also called Tripura as intellect, feelings and physical sensation. And she is triple as the three states of the soul, awakening, dreaming and sleeping states. Her five triangles also represent the Pancha Tattva and the Pancha Bhutas. This is what the words in the Lalita Sars Nama means by Panchami Pancha Bhuteshi Pancha Sankhyu Pacharini. It is difficult to say what she is not. Lalita holds five flowery arrows, nose, gourd and bow. The nose represents attachment, the gourd represents repulsion, the sugar can bow represents the mind and the flowery arrows are the five sense of objects. So thank you. Please subscribe to my channel Perfect Guardian and give your comment. If there is any mistake by me, so please give your comments so that I can come to know what mistake I have done. And if you need any videos or any knowledge about anything, you can just give a comment beneath the video so I can help you out. And if I am wrong, then also you can just write down the comment. So in the next videos, I can improve myself. So thank you. Please subscribe to my channel Perfect Guardian and give your comments.